Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rex Rahul. In today's video, we are going to learn about generating and reading QR code in Java using a library called Zebra Crossing or ZXING library, which is an open source library and supports 1D and 2D barcode image processing. So let's get started. So first of all, I have created a simple application QR code demo in this we have this main class and in this main class suppose we have a text a string let's say QR code demo text and we are going to use this text and we're going to convert this text to QR code image so first of all we will need the zebra crossing library so for that we will go to the maven repository and we will use the zebra crossing core and zebra crossing java IC extensions so first of all let's take the dependency declaration from even repository for core and paste it in the project spawn file and we also need this extension we will use 3.3 zero version for now for this video so let's delete remaining and let's clean and build the project so after after building the project we need to use that zebra crossing library and let's create a method say private static void let's say generate qr code uh, for now we will pass the text in this method so we will be passing this text through the method and we will convert uh, let's take it in the main method and from the main method we will call generate qr code okay so in this generate qr code we need to convert this text so for that we need qr code writer so Zebra Crossing library provides us QR code writer. So we will use that. So we have the QR code writer. Let's say QR or simply say writer. Create an object of this. And writer, this writer has a method. This writer has a method say encode this writer has a method encode and in which we can pass the text and after that format this format uh, should be the qr code so we have a class barcode format in which we will have this format qr code and width it is in pixel so for now we will have 300 by 300 pixels image so so it is throwing some error uh, throwing an exception uh, let's check what is the exception for now we will add the right exception uh, to the method we will we will not catch it in this method and let's assign let's take a variable it is returning and code method is returning bit matrix and bit matrix now we have the bit matrix but we need to generate image from bit matrix so we have in our java se extension we have a class matrix to image writer and we have a method uh, write to file okay this is deprecated 
so maybe we need to use we have to use another method let's check what is the method we can use right to path we can use we will provide the path of the file so right to path is not deprecated so we can use it so we'll pass the bit matrix and format will be so this is our image format we will use the png format so this is the format image format you can see so we will use the png format and this is the file so file object we will use and we will define where we want to create the file so for now we will create the file in this directory this is temporary directory so we will copy the path of it and paste that path in here and we will write the name of the file dot png let's say qr code dot png now we just need to import this file okay and we need to catch this exception so this is catch for simplicity uh, we are not optimizing our code so it is saying some issue with okay we need to do we need to pass path to it it is also throwing some exception io exception let's let's declare uh, add to add to throws declaration okay and we can add the catch block oops we can add the catch block of io exception we have to because we have to catch the io exception also so our image will be uh, written using the code let's run the sample so uh, we don't know if the example is complete or uh, so we will add one log here maybe the message so so yes the code is complete let's check out the path so in path you can see the qr code is generated so this qr code is generated and will contain the text whatever we have passed and this is also 300 by 300 pxl pixels now we are going to read that qr code so we will generate a method named read qr code and we will provide the file name so that will be the image file let's say qr code file and we will use qr code reader in this case let's change it to reader and this also must be reader and after that let's delete it and we need to read the file so reader dot we have decode method in which we will have to pass we have to so so in this decode method we will let's say yes use binary bitmap image so let's create a binary bitmap image object and in this binary bitmap it is using a binarizer so what is this binarizer this binarizer is an abstract class okay luminance source it is taking as argument and it is also an abstract class so let's check out the hierarchy of this class so buffered image luminance source is taking the buffered image so it will be easy if we pass the buffered image using image io and uh, we'll pass in the luminance source and after that luminance source will be passed to binary so let's write it like new binarizer but which binarizer we are going to use let's go to the let's 
let's go to the binary as if this is an abstract class let's check out that column class hierarchy and hybrid binary as a is the final class so we are going to use hybrid binaryizer and uh, this hybrid binaryizer is using luminan source so we are going to use buffered image luminan source because that is uh, the class for which we can which we can instantiate for the luminan source and we will pass the file as bitmap image in this object so i think it should be good so we have some error so it is throwing a format exception so we can add throws declaration so let's and what it returns is it is returning the result object okay so assign to a variable let's say decode okay so decode dot get we need text from that okay so get text is there and uh, let's let's if we want to return this text from this method okay so it is done so we need to call it in the main method so here we writing to the file or or maybe generating qr code and here we are reading qr code from file so we need to call this read qr code and we need to pass the file that we are going to read so for now just for an example we are hard coding it that we are going to read this qr code file so we will add the catch block notice add catch clause okay so we can optimize it later but for now uh, the code we will keep it as it is so we will also have to print this so first it will generate for now we can only read because we have already generated this qr code we will all uh, we will now read the qr code from file let's run this example so you can see the text from the qr code is read and uh, it is printed in the console and, uh, and now let's generate another qr code with some other text let's say we did with this and using dummy dummy text so you can see the reader says the qr code having is having dummy text so that's all for this video Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel Rex Travel.